Hello viewers, for any civil engineer, it is very important to know the properties of constituents of an RCC structure. RCC means reinforced cement concrete, which includes steel bars as reinforcement and cement concrete. Cement concrete is made up of different ingredients such as cement, aggregates both coarse and fine and water which hydrates cement to give concrete its cementious properties. Coarse aggregate forms bulk of cement concrete. Therefore, it is very essential to know its physical properties. One of the important properties of coarse aggregate is determination of its flakiness and elongation index value. In the present video program, we shall demonstrate before you the experimental procedure for determination of flakiness and elongation index values of coarse aggregate. The equipment needed for the demonstration of these experiments experimental procedure to determine the flakiness index value of coarse aggregates. To start with the experiment, measure the weight of minimum 200 pieces of aggregate sample collected after proper quartering. Record the weight of the sample in the observation sheet. This is 1150 grams. Perceiving fraction of aggregate of different sizes will be retained on different sieves. 
In this sample, no aggregate is retained on 20 mm sieve. The aggregate passing through 20 mm sieve size and retained on 16 mm sieve is taken for testing. This aggregate fraction is passed through the corresponding thickness slot on the gauge marked 20 to 16 mm. The width of the slot corresponding to 20 and 16 mm sieve can be calculated as 3 by 5 multiplied by the average of 20 and 16 mm sieve which comes out to be 10.8 mm. The width of this slot through which this fraction of aggregate is passing is 10.8 mm. Likewise, for corresponding sieves, the width of thickness slot can be calculated. All the particles passing through 10.8 mm thickness slot are collected and weighed. Record this weight in the observation sheet. In this case, it is 68 gram. The same procedure is followed for aggregate passing through 16 mm sieve and retained on 12.5 mm sieve. The fraction of aggregate passing through the corresponding thickness slot are collected and weighed. The reading is recorded in the observation sheet. Likewise, the gauged weight of flaky particles from fraction of aggregate corresponding to 12.5 to 10 mm sieve and 10 to 6.3 mm sieve is determined and recorded. Flakiness index is the total weight of material passing through the various thickness gauges expressed as a percentage of the total weight of sample taken.
In this case, the flakiness index of aggregate comes out to be 36.3 percent. Similarly, the flakiness index of aggregate for second sample from the same lot is calculated. The average of two values obtained is reported as the final result. Flakiness index in excess of 35 to 40 percent is considered undesirable. For finding elongation index value of aggregate, take minimum 200 pieces of aggregate from representative sample and note down its weight. In this case, the weight of the sample is 1150 grams. Here also, the sample is sieved to the same set of sieves as used for determination of flakiness index of 20 mm size aggregate. After adequate sieving, the fraction of aggregate of different sizes are retained on different sieves. As seen, no aggregate is retained on 20 mm sieve. Aggregate fraction passing through 20 mm sieve and retained on 16 mm sieve is taken for testing. Here, the aggregate fraction under test is passed through the corresponding length slot on length gauge. However, it is important in this case that the particles retained on the length slot are weight and reading recorded. The length of the slot corresponding to 20 and 60 mm sieves is calculated as 9 by 5 multiplied by the average of 20 and 60 mm sieve which comes out to be 32.4 mm. The length of the slot on which these aggregates are retained is 32.4 mm. All the particles retained are weight and the reading is noted in the observation sheet. The same procedure is followed for aggregate passing through 16 mm and retained on 12.5 mm sieve.
retained on the various length gauges expressed as a percentage of the total weight of the sample taken. In this case, the elongation index of aggregate comes out to be 45.7 percent. Similarly, the elongation index of aggregate for second sample from the same lot is measured. The average of two values obtained is reported as the final result. As per Bureau of Indian Standard Code, flakiness and elongation tests are not applicable to aggregate sizes smaller than 6.3 mm. In this video program, you have seen the apparatus and the procedure to determine the flakiness and elongation index value of coarse aggregate. You have also seen the steps involved in calculating these index values. However, it is important to know that the upper limit of flakiness and elongation index value of coarse aggregates as per British standards is 35 to 40 percent depending upon the size of the aggregate. I hope after having viewed this video film, you shall be able to perform this experiment in your laboratory. Thank you.